Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. Putting American CIA agents in direct danger. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. You'll remember the Valerie Plame situation, where the former CIA operative was publicly named in a weapons of mass destruction controversy. Remember that? Well, led by NBC News and the New York Times, the left-wing media went nuts. And ultimately, Scooter Libby, a top advisor to Vice President Cheney, was convicted of a crime. Now we have a situation that is far worse, and the left-wing media is totally silent. A group calling itself the John Adams Project, affiliated with the ACLU, is secretly photographing CIA agents and showing the pictures to suspected terrorists at Guantanamo Bay, among other people. It's hard to believe, I know, but it's going on. Activist lawyers Joshua Dreitel, Edward McMahon, and Nina Ginsburg are just three members of the Adams Group who are putting CIA agents in direct danger. Factor producer Dan Bank caught up with Ms. Ginsburg. Hi, Ms. Ginsburg. Dan Bank with Fox News Channel with the O'Reilly Factor. I have some questions about the John Adams Project. You know, you're putting CIA agents' lives in danger. You uh, need to talk to the yeah, people I, at the John Adams Project. That's well, not at all true. You're the CIA agents put a lot of people in danger. They put this country in danger. You're sh they put American soldiers overseas in danger. You're showing pictures of CIA agents to terrorists, al-Qaeda terrorists. That's not just despicable. True. That's not what are true. you doing then? What is the John Adams Project? And why are you following me around into a drugstore? Ma'am, you've hired researchers to follow CIA agents around in all over the place and then show them to al-Qaeda terrorists, the same people who organized September 11th. What they did was try and find out who the names and the identities of the people who tortured, illegally tortured people, because the government won't turn over that information, and people in this country have a right to defend themselves. Sir, get out of my way. Hold on one second. Because because there are federal laws prohibiting sharing classified information. It's not like classified. That. If if there's a person walking in the street who has a picture taken of himself, so that if, is not classified so, information. So Valerie and there claim are laws against public people putting their microphones in people's faces. Valerie Plame's identity was disclosed by the vice president of this country. The people who took pictures found the information in public source information and tried to find out who the torturers were in this country. Torturers are the people trying to keep us safe. Sir, some people, out, some people you are making me feel threatened. Get out of my face. Some people may wonder whose side you Get are on. Get out of my face. Despicable. And the factor is asking Attorney General Holder to step up the investigation of the John Adams project. It is underway. And we are asking President Obama to publicly condemn that campaign. Forget about the elite media investigating this. It's far too corrupt to do that. Now, we don't expect the Obama administration to comment because they're pandering to the far left, or have been anyway. But if the president continues to allow attacks on the CIA, it will come back to hurt him the same way the saga of Van Jones has hurt him. Over the Labor Day weekend, Jones was forced to resign as a White House employee overseeing so-called green jobs employment tied to improving the environment. Jones is a radical guy who signed a petition questioning whether the government knew about the 9-11 attacks beforehand. How could he wind up working for the Obama White House? How could he do that? It's simply astounding. Whether it's fair or not, President Obama is now viewed by some as sympathetic to the radical left. So to get rid of that perception, he should condemn the John Adams Project immediately. Talking Points will update you on this story on Thursday. And that's a memo.